Gerald Kushner is an American investor and real estate developer. He is U.S. President Donald Trump's son-in-law and has become deeply involved in politics and high-level foreign diplomacy. Since his father-in-law took office last year, the 36-year-old has taken key posts in the administration and is now considered an influential figure. Trump's son-in-law has even been branded as the White House's peace broker in the Middle East. He is said to be one of the key backers of Trump's Middle East initiative, which resulted in the U.S. recognition of Jerusalem al-Quds as Israel's capital, infuriating the Palestinians. Kushner, however, has maintained his vast business dealings. He is still actively involved in the Kushner family's real estate company and is apparently using U.S. foreign policy to expand contracts. The Kushner real estate firm has engaged in lucrative dealings with financial institutions in Israel. One of Israel's largest financial firms, Menora Miftachim, recently pumped a $30 million investment into Kushner Company. The financial dealings with Menora are the latest between Kushner and the Israelis. Trump's son-in-law has been doing large transactions with the wealthiest families in Tel Aviv. The Trump uh, administration and Kushner who's uh, at the very core of the administration, both of them are uh, weaving together their, the, political, uh, the political interests and their own financial interests, and the financial interests are doing very well, but many of these are, are legal, barely legal, and in uh, many cases we've seen not legal at all. Uh, and uh, this is no nothing new for the Trump family and the Trump administration. He has taken out several loans from Israel's largest bank, Bank Hopolim, which is currently being investigated by the U.S. Department of Justice as part of a fraud probe. New revelations show such financial relations involving Gerard Kushner are deepening by the day. Critics are warning that anyone with such vast ties to the Israelis must be excluded from any mediation effort or negotiation regarding the Palestinian issue. The administration of U.S. President Donald Trump is making no secret of its support for Israeli interests and security. In fact, such stances have been part of America's foreign policy for decades. Administration, uh, and Kushner in particular, has interests, both political and economic interests, that converge in the relationship with Israel and um, the extreme government that exists in Tel Aviv today and what that government is doing to the Palestinian people uh, with the full support of the Trump administration and, and the closest advisors to Trump, including the ambassador to Israel and Jared Kushner. The United States has, however, portrayed itself as a peace broker between the Palestinians and the Israelis. It has brokered and participated in many rounds of talks between the two sides. The Palestinians say the United States is in no position to act as a mediator anymore. They say America's recent recognition of Jerusalem al-Quds as Israel's capital has further dented U.S. credibility. The Palestinians want the city as the capital of their future state. Observers warn that given America's close alliance with Israel, it is highly unlikely that Palestinian rights are respected in any U.S.-led initiative to resolve the Palestinian issue.